Fantastic. Rub your hands together. <laughs> Run fast. Let's do my best. Let's start with jumping jacks. Let's do 10 of them. Go ahead, go. One, two, three, two, three, four, five, six, six, seven, eight, nine, nine, ten, 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 ten,
I always suggest at least attending one competition just because I really feel as, as a black belt, it's really important to be able to test your abilities against other people, especially not just like in your school. Like mm -hmm. we all kind of been training for a long time. So we all kind mm -hmm. of expect to know how we are around our, our friends and our group of, uh, the group of people around us, but it's always mm -hmm. cool to experience and put ourselves a little bit in a, an uncomfortable situation and try to do our best and uh, try to get better through it. Mm -hmm. Thank right. you. Cool, absolutely. Uh, well, <laughs> not pizza. Can you get in the background, Doc? And uh, I want to stand here. And uh, Darvo, why don't you stand here? Very nice. All right, we're going to practice while run together. This is our brown belt form, but we're all going to do the form sticking together. I'm going to say, yes, sir. Good night. Right, cool. So let's stand till this night. First, we're going to take our left foot with their hand down. So we step. I mean, I'm probably going to go one. I mean, we have two points. So we two, three. And then from here, hands very side. So four, five, and six. I know some of us know this already, but stay tall. We're going to try this again. I want to get down these six moves looking really sharp. What do you think is going to make a form spectacular? What do you think? Raise your hand. What do you think is going to make a form spectacular, Sharia? Be better. Be better? Well, what do we have to make? What do we have to make better? That's the question. That's how I want you to try to answer at home, anybody? What do you think? We're going to practice the form a couple more times, but I want you to think about this while we're doing it. Go ahead, raise hands. Let's try the first three moves. Show me hand down, show me step. Then you have palm, you go one. Show me two, five, two, three. Hands on your side, show me four, five, and six. There you go. Raise hands. Two more times. Ready? Show me one. Show me two, three, ready, show me four, five, and six. There you go, one more time, ready? One more time, show me one, two, three, four, five, six. This one's good, man. There you go, and stand tall. All right, so I give you guys some time to think, what do you, what, do you, what is it gonna be that makes the form spectacular? Sadie? Um, try on your best, yeah. Okay, well, we're we'll talking about the forms. Only about forms. Sparring is a little bit different. Form, right, right. So trying your best, putting an effort is definitely going to make your form spectacular. But what else? Stances, stances. If you have really strong stances, really sharp stances, they can be strong. Like this can be strong, but we're looking for sharp too. Strong and sharp, where it has these cool angles. You see how it looks like? Oh, uh, it looks sideways, almost like a square, right? Like this, this isn't as sharp, but it's gonna be strong still. We're trying to sit low in a good stance. What else? What else? What what other effort? Because this takes a lot of effort. What else, Anika? Um, making your moves sharp and clear. So. Right, yeah, your, your, your hand techniques too. Your hands have to be sharp and clear. So when you're here, you have fast hands every single time. You're trying to put all your power into that one move and then try to do it the next one, the next one. That takes a lot of effort. That's what you have to put else. What else? Um, you. You'll have to try to act fast. Yeah, you gotta try to move quick. If you do your form, if you do it strong, but if you're doing it slow, then that can be too good. You wanna make it a really good pace. You have one, two, three, four, five, six. You don't wanna go lightning speed. Like trying to finish the form quickly, but you want to make it with your hands and your body moving fast. Okay, let's do five questions. Let's go. One step, two step, three step, four step, five step. All right, cool. Let's practice those first couple of moves again. We're going to practice the first three moves in a particular way. If you guys have a target at home, that would be perfect. If you have a pillow, that'd be perfect. If you have a brother or a sister or a mom or dad, a, a cousin, uh, not the goldfish, not the dog. They're never very good at this one. If they can hold that said target, pillow, object, I don't know if they just be the target, don't actually hit them hard, but you're gonna palm heel, punch, punch. We're gonna practice that combination a couple of times. So you would go here, you'd go one, two, three, and start hitting the target. Try doing that in a good middle stance. So when you go here, you will try to sit one, Two, three, and you'd have strong moves each time. You guys understand the rules? Got it? Okay, good. If you're here, 
you, you have a partner. So you're gonna turn around. That'll be your partner. Like, Grant and Patrick and Atharva, you'll be partners. Right there. And sure, you'll be my partner. I will start to be I will hold the target for each other. So if you have it, I want you to, if you're holding the target, hold it like this, right at the end, right at the tail, put your hand right behind it. And I want you to hold it off to the side, just like this. Almost like you're trying to. Um, I'm gonna do, um, so we're gonna do this way. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna come up to the target, like Patrick, how he's holding it. I'll get my middle stance. I'll go one, two, three. I'm gonna practice that combination. Palm heel, punch, punch. Palm heel, punch, punch. Palm heel, punch, punch. Do the combination ten times and then switch. I'll let the other person go. Make sense? Yes. Go ahead. Go. and or target holders have to be a little bit more active, meaning that they're not just gonna stand there and hold the target. Your job to now is you're gonna get ready. Every time you finish the combination, one, two, three, you're gonna hop forward and then you'll go one, two, three. When you hop forward, that means your target holder has to move backward. So they'll be here and then move back. And then move back. If they get far enough that they can't move backward anymore, guess what? You're gonna hop backwards. So you'll hop backwards. And then they'll move forward so they can hit it. Does that make sense? So you're almost going to be like a typewriter moving across the floor one way and the other way. So it's like a computer, but old school. It just sits right on the paper and it prints for you immediately, like that. It prints while it types. Yep. When she was like about like 14. I think my mom's 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 used those. Oh. So get ready. If you're here, we're gonna do similar action, but if you're not holding the target, stand over there. So you go with it. And you go with it. You're only gonna hop forward. We're gonna hop all the way across the room. Once you get down there, you're gonna switch to target holder so you guys come back. So watch sorry. So they'll hop, go hop, and they'll go one, two, three, and they'll hop. One, 
two, three. Once you get all the way down there, it'll hold the target for me, and then we'll go back. Make sense? You're gonna try to keep going back and forth. Uh, just one side note. I know Liam has questions. Before we do that, let me see feet apart. Hands on your side. When you do this combination, you want your hands to come back to here. So you'll go one, two, three. Make sure it brings all the way back. Arms fully extended. Liam, what's your question? Um, I don't have a partner. So what you can do if you don't have a partner, you can do it by yourself. Imagine you're hitting a target. Just hop. And then one, two, three. Make sure you practice your good stances. One, two, three, going forward and then backward across the room. Okay? If you go forwards and backwards, then you can hop sideways too. You're going to hop to the side and go on the other side, and then you can make a square around the room. Can you do that? But you got to hop. Only hopping. Let's give it a try. Ready? Go ahead, let's start moving. One, two, make sure your hands to your side. Don't let your hands drop to your sides. Don't let your hands drop towards the floor. Let's see. Up. One, two, three. Up. One, two, three. Up. One, two, three. Okay, take it back. Try not to do the combination too quick. You want to do it slow. And then up. One, two, three. Up. One, two, three. Up. One, two, three. Up. Let's do the first six moves again in the form. Go ahead, put the target around to the side. So feet apart. Oh, sorry, this way. Brace hands. Here, there, right here. Face this way. Right here, there. All right, now can you move over there, over here. Go on, everyone. Go ahead. Bring this hand by your side. You ready? Show me what? Yeah. Show me this one. I don't know. Wait, I probably were doing it not that way. Go show me two times. Show me two. Yeah, yeah, and then three. Now watch. Hands to your side. I wish I had a really good middle stand right now. Show me four. Yeah, yeah. And then from here, bring this hand in. This hand goes across. Yeah. Five. Yeah. Six. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Don't move your feet. Yeah. Let's do a couple more moves. This is fun. Bring this hand 
Are you following yeah. around and somebody down? Stop. And now I want somebody step. Yeah. Step. Yeah. One step. One more time. Raise hands. You ready? Tell me one. Yeah. That's yeah. yeah. one middle stance. I'm looking. Tell me two, three. Yeah. yeah. Ready? Show me four. Yeah. And then show me yeah. five. Yeah. yeah. And six. Yeah. Yeah. Show yeah. 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 me middle stance like me. Go, squeeze tight. Don't move. Five seconds. Hold it. One. Don't move. Two. Maybe you will sit. Two. Don't move. Can you pull this? And then bend your knee like that. Not showing much. Not like this. Here. Pull it closer. There you go. Three. There you go. Keep back up. Four, almost, and a half, and five. Go ahead, relax. Shake your legs up a little bit. Awesome. Let's play a game. You guys ready to play a game? Oh, good. The game. Uh, let's. Let's. let's uh, Mr. Kenzie, do you happen to know the dice is playing cancer now? All right, we'll play a duck or jump. We we'll wanted to play a game of luck, so we don't have the game of luck today. So, game of duck or jump. Actually, we'll do Twitch Master. How this game works is if I don't swing the noodle, you don't move. But if I swing it, you have to duck. If I make you flinch or I trick you, it means you're out. You have to do two evens. Everyone understands the rules? Let's give it a try. You ready? So I'm going to swing it, and you'll duck. If I swing it, you'll duck. If I swing it, you duck. If you swing, you're going down. If I don't swing, you don't do anything. So if I don't swing a noodle, you don't duck. That means they tricked you. You have two knees. Oh, oh they tricked you. Two knee bends. You ready? Here it comes. So I tricked you. Two knee bends. Ready? Now. Oh, now. Ooh. Here it comes now. Ah, uh, you duck. That's two knee bends. Get out of town. Oh, house. Oh, goodness. Oh, that is clean. No. Oh, out. Oh, no. Out. Here it comes now. And now. Here's one more. Ah, uh, you ducked. You're out. Oh, 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 here it comes, now, oh, sit up, sit up, now, one, yeah, yeah, sure, duck, and duck, and duck, here it comes, now, Duck. 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 Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 Wow. Duck. <laughs> Duck. No.
Get out of here. See you later. Bye. 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 Bye.